Hey guys, welcome to Cyber Dream Developers, where we deliver a strategic and effective online solution that grows your business. Now, what we're going to be doing in today's video is we're going to be creating a simple pastry blog in less than two hours, right? So we're going to start and we're going to get it done in less than two hours. I'm going to show you how to get everything that you need to get this blog done. Now, <clears throat> the best part about this video is that once we're finished with the blog, you can come to our website and there will be a link in the menu somewhere up here. I do not know exactly where, but there is going to be a link in the menu and a link in the description of the video once it's posted where you can download all the work that we've done today. Now, it's going to be free for a limited time. And then after being free for a while, we'll attach a price to it. Additionally, if you want, we, you can have your website developed by us, custom made, which means that you can have a bespoke website developed where we develop a web, where we develop a website specifically for your need, for your business, for your clients, for your audience. Or you can use what is called a CyberGrow online presence, where it's basically a website as a service. A website as a service is pretty much what we're doing here. So we're going to have templates. We're going to have other websites that we've made. I will make your website highly similar to it. I will maintain it for you and you won't have to pay 3,500 or 5,000 or a million dollars up front. <laughs> I'm kidding guys. <laughs> what you will do is you would pay like 399 per month for your website. Good to note though is that in the future we're going to be renovating this website. And as we do the changes in editing, you're going to see the changes being made. So this page is going to be renovated. And this is the page for the CyberGrow online presence, right? And on this page, actually, let me go all the way to the features section. So whenever you get a website on CyberGrow, you can choose one of these plans. And these plans are all the same, except that for plan four to six and plan one to three, Plans four to six are the same as plans one to three, except that plans four to six as social media marketing, social media accounts, SEO, inbound marketing, and email marketing integrated into all our services from plan four to plan six. And you pay like $999 per month. Guys, if you want to have a digital marketer, the monthly retainer fee is always over $1,000. So to go with plans four to six means you're getting a steal. I mean, for us, it depends on what you want because our marketing plans are a little bit different than everyone else. But I'm not here to self-promote. I'm only telling you who we are, what we do, and how we can help you because once the website today is finished, there's going to be a link posted. You click that link, it's going to take you to this website. Well, not this one because this page is hideous, but, you know, that is for future work. And you can download what we're going to be doing today. So once you download what we're going to be doing today, you will have it free. Additionally, guys, if you have a website, let me go back home. There's something I think you should do. Go to cyberdreamdevelopers.com. Scroll all the way down on the homepage. You don't have to go anywhere. Just scroll down on the homepage all the way down like I'm scrolling right now. So this is one website we've made. We're going to be um, redesigning this website as well. It's going to be an entire series where we start from the, from the homepage to the contact page and all the pages in between. And you're going to get that website for free as well for a while. And then there's going to be a price attached to it. All right. It's also going to teach you how to do web development using WordPress. And this is an e-commerce website that we've made. But you scroll all the way down to the bottom. These are testimonials. And this book, Your Website's Conversion Mistakes, 26 Reasons Why Your Website is Scaring Away Your Customers. Written by me, of course. Yes, I'm Jabez Roberts. I didn't tell you, right? So my name is right up here, Jabez Roberts. And... And this is my picture. You can find me on Twitter and LinkedIn and all the other likes. And you get this book, right? So once you get this book, what's this, what this book is going to do for you, it's going to tell you what to do to get your website to convert. In other words, it's going to tell you why your website isn't converting. It does explain what conversion is. That's basically when someone comes to your website and does what you want them to do. And it's going to help you to make more sales and get more leads from your, from your website for your business and for your practice, for your affiliate marketing, or whatever it is that you're into, right? So this book is important, and it's completely free, guys. So you just click download ebook. It's going to ask for an email address because we send the email. We send the download link to your email address. You enter it right here. This is my information. Like I can just go ahead and auto input everything. You click download, and that, there is it. 
book for you. So before further ado, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to need to do your blog is you're going to need website hosting. Now I own hosting companies guys. I own two of them. And the reason why I own two hosting companies is because I was at Cloudways and let me show you Cloudways. Cloud Cloudways is amazing guys. Like not because I have my own hosting company, but I will tell you that Cloudways and SiteGround and Name Hero, those guys are good, right? So this is Cloudways. And for me, the reason why I'm moving from Cloudways is because I want a bit more control over what I'm doing. And the thing about it is that whenever I have a client, if something goes wrong, sometimes I have to come in and ask Cloudways to get this for me or get that for me because I don't have, much, have as much control. And the more sites I add, I have, I have a few sites, guys. I have a few clients. It's going to get a little bit expensive after a while. Cost effectivity? No, not at all. So what I've done is I've started my own hosting company. The first one is Light Phoenix. And Light Phoenix is a premium, well, they're all premium solutions. But the thing you'll notice with Light Phoenix, let me go to the plan. So I think the plans are on the first page. So this is the WordPress hosting plan. And since we're going to be using WordPress, let's look at this. The first plan gives you two websites. It gives you a free .com domain for the first year. It gives you two months free. It's not right here, but it gives you two months free whenever you buy for a year. So you get two months free and a free .com domain, a free CDN. We have light speed servers. We have um, a lot of disk space. This is competitive, guys. And the thing about it is that whenever you host with us, like once you, let's say you're going to get this blog that I've created. If you host with Light Phoenix or Aurora Cloud, which is our next company that we're going to look at, I will install it for you for free. All right. So the difference between Light Phoenix, which is pretty much not just hosting, but it's like a premium cloud solution because see, you can host Drupal and Joomla and PHP websites and everything using this plan, of course. The thing with um, that's difference between Light Phoenix and Aurora Cloud is that with Aurora Cloud, you get your personal security team. Right, so your own website security. Now, guys, I have I had this website right. The very first time I started making website, it was like probably the fourth website I made for myself at least, and it got spammed. It wasn't even me, right? It was spammed with SEO, and I couldn't post the link, and I lost visitors, and it, it was a nightmare, guys. So what the website security team does for you, it monitors and secures your website for you, so you can run your business in the background. And if you look at the plans right here, if you look at the plans, you're going to realize that all of our hosting plans have a few things inside of them. So this is the plans. Oh, wait, let's go to the features or so hosting features. Now, if you look at the hosting features, you realize that it comes with secure firewall protected servers with server side scanning. And this is a website I recently made, guys. And light speed servers, SSD RAID 10 servers with Maria databases, short for speed. And you also get these free, well, it is free, actually. Um, these security features, page protection, machine learning, brute force attack prevention, DDoS attack. There's a lot of them, guys. So you go to the links below, you'll see Light Phoenix there. Because the thing about it is that I don't think that everyone needs a premium solution. Because... These plans, they start at like $35, right? I mean, you're getting your own hosting, your own security team for you. So come on, it's worth it, guys. So this is like premium hosting, but this one is also pretty good. And if you look at the features, you're going to realize that they are pretty feature heavy, all right? So the first part about getting started is you're going to need to have a wonderful host. So I'm going to go with the first plan, right? So I'm going to go with Freelance Cloud from Aurora Cloud. Order now. And I don't know which URL is going to be available. Pastry blog tutorial. Let's try that. All right. So let's check if that's there. It might not. Oh, it's there? Wow. Look at that. I'm surprised. I remember, guys, if you host for a year. So when you host for a year, you get a free.com domain name. Plus you get two months free. All right, so we're gonna select a year and see free domain. If you host for two years or three years, you get a dot, dot org and dot net and all those things. All right. So you see, 35 times 10 is 350, and that's why. 
So you get a free domain name. You remove, oh wait, it's here. It's just for zero. So you get it free and you check out, you enter your credentials right here. I'm from Jamaica, guys. That's why you see a Jamaica flag. <laughs> and uh, yes, yeah, beautiful country. Yeah, so you enter information. You enter your payment. Right now we have PayPal, but we also have credit cards coming. And you complete your order, you check out. Now, once you've done that, oh wait, this is Cloudways. I don't need Cloudways anymore. So once you've finished setting up your account, what you're going to do is you're going to get some information emailed to you that you've entered here for your account details. So you go back to, um, where am I going to go? You're just going to log in right now. So you're just going to log in. Once you log in here, or the best place to actually log in, because this is like the fastest way. So not, not here, guys. Not here. Yes. So you go back to go back to Aurora Cloud WS dot com. All right. So you go back to Aurora Cloud. So you go to Aurora Cloud earlier there because it's going to be a link. You can go to user login because remember whenever. Let me go back. Whenever, whenever you create your hosting plan, it's not going to be on the page you just saw. It's going to. Okay, so you can log into your website by simply going to auroracloudws.com and it's going to be on the home page where you'll be, guys. So once you get to the home page, you can click user login. Once you click user login, you enter your using, well, not username, your email address, your password, and this is where you will enter your domain name. So I think it was pastry blog tutorial and you click login all right now once you've logged in you're going to be presented with a screen like this all right so i haven't purchased that domain name because i'll be making videos like every day so you can subscribe and i'm not going to manage 350 domains at all so you go to domains right and you go to manage so remember that i told you, you get like two websites with each plan for life phoenix you're going to have your domains listed here once you go to domains you can click on this icon and you can get an SSL certificate installed, all right? So you click SSL, you click generate all with SSL, all with Let's Encrypt, sorry. You generate, and you wait a few moments for it to work its magic. We don't know what it's doing, it's doing its thing. And we're waiting for just a short while. It takes like 15 to 25 seconds, guys. It's not, it's not that long of a wait, because I'm not even gonna pause the video or anything right here. And there we go. Private key created, CSR created, self science SSL are created. And this is done, right? So you go back to SiteWorks. And this is how to use the Interworks server, um, Interworks servers guy. Normally, people use um, cPanel. I've used cPanel, but for these companies, I want to be a little bit different. So that's why I decided to go with Interworks. And if you look at the interface, my gosh, what a good word they've done, right? Anyway, so we have the SSL install on our website and that is just in case the domain was never working properly now what we're going to do is we're going to scroll all the way down and we're going to look for soft aculus now soft aculus is right here at the additional features it's pretty much a one-click installation for whatever software you want to add so you can get joomla or presta shop i think drupal is here somewhere you can get magento you can use open cart right so you can get whatever um, cms you want installed with just a click so what you do is you click on you go you hover over wordpress you go to install and you click and once you click on install wordpress you're pretty much getting the best part of the drop down the best thing to do however is to remove wp because if you remove if you have wp then your website is going to be cyberdreamdevelopers.com forward slash wp and then forward slash contact and we don't want that that's a nasty um url to work with so we remove that you choose the ssl version if you already have a website and you're using a second one you click here and you select which website you're going to be using right here you select my pastry blog right and you give it a title i don't know which that description you want to use oh yes let's use something practical case the treats in uh gif all right, or Jiffy, because I think Jiffy is a peanut butter company. All right, 
then you use your username admin is terrible guys so at least use admin login that is also terrible <laughs> but it's not as terrible and you can generate a secret key which pretty much what i normally i'm going to show you what i normally do and then i don't use a domain email because you know anything can happen so i use my gmail account at all times and then i email my credentials to gmail as well now before you click install before you click install what you should do is just go ahead and get to word all right go ahead and get to word and this is what i always do for every website that i work with right so for the website what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to get the credentials all copied so i'm going to say um taste pastry blog tutorial right and this is important for you to do guys because anything can happen and you lose your information and you type username name password and these are the only information that you need and email and then once you do that you copy all the information from over here so the username is going to be admin login and the password is going to be a whole lot of funny characters there and the email is going to be whatever at whatever.com right? and you save that so whenever anything happens you always have your information somewhere now you go ahead and you click install I'm not going to click it or it will remove my site but once you click install you're going to be given a message here at the top that gives you the credentials of how to log in so for this it would be cyberdreamdevelopers.com forward slash WP admin all right, so I'm going to go there for my pastry blog tutorial and this is what you're going to be presented with pastry blog and this is a default WordPress screen now here's what we're going to do for our pastry blog we're going to have a few things set up right so we're going to have a contact page and that is how our use our readers are going to contact us they're going to speak to us they're going to say to us you know what I like what you're doing how would I make this this recipe or that recipe or could you post this recipe or what do you think about this or whatever it is that they like to say you have to be interactive with your readers we're gonna have our own page because we want to get everyone involved we're going to show them our books that we they can download we're going to show them a few pictures of what's recent and then we're going to direct them to the blog we're gonna have a blog we're also gonna because the blog is pretty much where you post everything that you write and then you're gonna have an about page so we have four pages we're going to have about to tell people who we are what we do we have a home page to welcome everyone we have a blog page because that's where the writing is done and we're going to have a contact page now if i were lazy that would all that would be all of it but we're going to add two more pages the first page that we're going to add is we're going to add a gallery page because who doesn't like looking at nice cakes and ice cream come on that's probably going to be the best part of the website right so we're going to have a gallery page and i think we can also have a video page or a video gallery page in other words a page where we post all our videos so we're going to have a few things set up right here so before we get started it's important to know that this cms right here wordpress this install is pretty much blank right we can go ahead and look at it and this isn't much by way of a website at all and this is what is called a theme the way the website looks is called a theme and how we change how it looks is by using what's called a page builder now this was built using the um, Gutenberg page page builder and I don't use Gutenberg at all I use it when I'm doing blogs but that's just about it and right? I don't use classic editor either because well maybe it's time I learned something new so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to look at this and say ah 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 so nasty so let's go to my website this is built using the astro team so let me go back home because that's what most people are gonna see so this is built using the astro team now whenever you use a theme you have to use a theme that you like and that you trust because if the theme files aren't good then your website is going to be slow it's going to be bloated it's going to have security vulnerabilities and no amount of security from aurora cloud is going to be able to save you guys trust me we can stop it but the risk of breach is never zero ever it's never ever zero and for web security guys i have a website security company it's called digitalfixy.com 
we're going to be working on this website as well but if you go to this website you will get website security at like 30 bucks per month you get a discount if you sign up from here of course but at the same time you would prefer to always do as much as you can because look at these statistics in terms of web security now lucky for you i know the perfect theme to use so i can go two ways here for a blog so the first way i'm going to go in today's video is by using the astra theme and then tomorrow i'm going to go the different way and i'm going to use the cadence theme so a quick look at these themes would be astra sites and we're, gonna, we're still going to get finished in two hours guys because all this is just me helping you to understand just what it is that we're doing so this is the astra theme it's really lightweight it's really amazing i've been using it for years most of my websites are built using astra right? and this is what we're going to be using today we're going to be getting one of these um, starter sites that they call them we're going to edit it to do what we would like to get done now the other theme that we could use is the cadence theme all right so we go to cadencetheme.com so this one is astra wpastra.com let me type it right here wpastra.com and the link is going to be in the description below guys come on why am i typing so poorly wpastra.com or we can go to cadencetheme.com all right so now we're going to take a look at cadence theme that's linked in the description below as well the thing i like about the cadence theme and you're going to see it in tomorrow's video is that in the cadence theme we have a lot more options in terms of editing the blog page guys and that's something i like and you can see here the footer editor i don't like the footer editor i prefer to use what's going to be loaded in astra but we're going to get here so let's get started on our website guys i've been rambling too much time to build our website so we're going to go to appearance no first thing we'll ever do is go to settings general we're going to ensure that we're using ssl now there's going to be an option here to change this to s to https and that's just saying that we're going to use the ssl certificate that we installed previously so you change that and you click save now i'm not going to save it because this is a local install so i really don't need to the next thing that we're going to do is permalinks and the permalinks is pretty much how this part of your website appears so we're at pastry blog right now so it's pastry blog that local because i'm using a local website if it was online it would be pastryblog.com so we're going to always have post name because what we talk when we talk about seo we talk about search engine optimization and seo is basically being as human friendly as possible and the most human friendly of all of these, the one that's easiest to read and understand is actually post name. If you go to month and name, you're never going to get it because it only says when you posted what and not what you actually posted. It says when you posted and not actually what you posted. Same with their name and plain really isn't the best because it numbers the pages and everything. So you're going to select post name. You're going to click save changes. All right. Now we're going to go to appearance themes and we're going to well first of all i'm going to delete these themes because i don't need all of these i only need one of them go ahead and delete those i'm going to add new and i haven't looked at anything as yet guys so we don't even need to type wp just type astra and straight up we're going to have the astra theme right here this one by brainstorm force go ahead and click install once we've installed this theme, what we're going to do is we're going to click activate. And once we activate it, that's how the theme is being used. Now, the theme is going to be like the outline of the website. It's not the exact look, but if you have a house, you have a few things that will never change, right? So the shape of the house is not going to change because you have columns set up in different places that determines how the house is, house is shaped. It's the same with a box. There are four columns at the four corners of the box. And because of that, the box is never going to look like a circle unless you move where the columns are and that's what the theme is going to be so once we've made an outline of what this looks like we're going to go ahead and install a plugin i'm going to add this plugin manually because i want you guys to realize just what it is now to add an actual flesh to this website or to the skeleton of this website we're going to use what's called a page builder and the page builder is pretty much what it is. It builds the pages of the website. And we're going to be using drag and drop, right? 
So a few things that we're going to be doing on this page. The first thing we're going to be doing, we're going to be installing Elementor. And Elementor has 5 plus million active installations. It's, it's pretty much the most popular popular website page builder, well, WordPress, WordPress page builder. We're going to install that. We're going to install Essential Add-ons because it gives us a few more modules that we never had with Elementor free version. And we're also going to install the premium add-ons for Elementor. All right? So we're going to install all of these. We're not going to activate them just yet because I want to show you how to activate, deactivate, and delete your, your plugins. So I'm going to install this one as well because I'm going to go ahead and delete it once it's there. Just to show you guys how it's done. And this is taking a while. Okay guys, so these are all installed. Now we could go ahead and click activate, but no, that is too... That is too straightforward. We're not going to learn too much. So we go to plugins, we go to install plugins, and we click on that. And once we get to install plugins, we're going to see all the plugins that we have. Now, I didn't need um, Elements Kit Light, right? I never needed this one. I only installed it to show you how to get rid of it. So you go ahead and you click delete. Or you can click here if you're deleting multiple plugins, right? And you click bulk actions and you click delete. So I'm just going to click delete right here, press OK, and that is deleted. Now we're going to click all of these because we need all of these and we're going to click activate. So go ahead and activate that. Now we have the theme, we have the page builder. Now it's time for us to get a starter site. A starter site is going to get our website up and built in the next hour, right? So we already have Astra. We already have Astra installed We have a page builder. So we're going to go back to plugins and we're going to add new. And the reason why we have to do this is because I skipped the Astra installation. Actually, we don't have to. So let's go to the dashboard. So I'll show you the fastest way to do it. After you've installed Astra, you click this notification right here as it get started. Once you get, a, get started, it's going to install what's called a starter template or a starter site that we looked at on Astra's website right now or just now. And what that is going to do for us is going to give us an entire website that has already been built, all right? And when we use that website, it's going to make our development time so much faster, all right? So let's just wait a minute. There we go. Now, we already spoke about page builders. Brizzy is pretty awesome, and Beaver Builder is awesome. Gutenberg, I haven't used it at all, but, you know, it's there, I guess. And we go with Elementor. Gutenberg is built in into WordPress, I believe, so I don't use it very often. So we're going to click Elementor, and all the sites that can use Elementor will appear. And these sites have been built with Elementor. So you have two types of sites. You have agency sites, which are premium, that you cannot get for free. You have to pay for those. And I mean, look at this. This could make an awesome website. Let's look at the home page. So you can take a look. You go preview furniture store, and it's going to come up, right? And this might be an incentive for you to get the premium version if you'd like, but it's not for me. Like, I don't need it. I mean, this looks really nice. I have to admit, admit it looks really nice, but I don't need this. You and I are going to build this website for free. So let's close it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go right here and we're going to select free because that is where our budget is. We won't entice ourselves into buying it. Not that it's not worth it. It's worth it, but we're not going to be buying it. Now, I don't know which one of these you guys like, right? So I'm just going to be scrolling for a while until I see something that looks nice. Online cooking courses. Let's check this one out. By the way, guys, I'm building this and on the fly. I'm not actually. And I'm going to use this one. I'll tell you why I'm going to use this one, guys. I'm going to use this one. I'll show you why. Here's why I'm going to use this one. For this website, there's a courses page. And that's a feature we could add that I never thought of. Although, come to think of it, I don't know if this site does what I want it to do. What do you guys think? Let's look at a home page. And this is how I normally go about I know what I want to do. And I go around looking at it. And I'm going to use this one. It needs a bit of work. But we can get the work done, guys. Alright, so we're going to use this one. So we go ahead and import complete set. 
your website is being imported it's gonna have learn dash in it and I'm just trying to make a simple blog a simple blog all right I don't know if I want to go that route just yet I'll tell you what I will do I will make a cooking course video or a cooking course website and I'll use this one all right so I won't bother using this but I'll make a cooking course website and I'll use this template for that one I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna find something really nice really fast all right I think we could select blogs right here though and there's only one free blog right here so we're gonna have to just go all and we are searching for a starter site we are searching for a starter site okay I know which one I'm gonna use we're gonna use this one no let me look for another one another one there's another food um, template here let me just find that for you guys there we go we're gonna be using this one <clears throat> so we import complete site and we're importing and I'm gonna pause while we import so we've finished completing our site Let's go right here and visit site and we're gonna see what it is that we've done so far so let's go I don't think my 16 gigs gigs of RAM is doing enough for me right now okay so we have a website right here nice we have a website right here and this is what we've done all right okay so all right now so let's go back to the dashboard and what is it that we said we were going to do? Let's see now. We said that we were going to create we're going to create a page for them to contact us. We already got that. We're a contact page. We have a home page that is going to welcome everyone to who we are and what we do. We have the about us page that tells everyone who we are. And we also have a sample page. We don't need that. So we're going to trash it. And we also have a privacy policy. We won't be setting up that today, but I'll show you how to get those done really nice in another video, all right? And we need a blog page. So we don't have a blog page right now. So we're gonna go ahead and add that. We have a menu page. Um, we don't need it, but I'm gonna let it stay for now. All right, so let's get going. Add new, and that's gonna create us a new page, all right? And that page is gonna be our blog page. So let me just wait for this to load. Oh, don't need all of this because we're not using the block editor. We go ahead and we name our page. Now the visibility is public and it's published immediately, right? So that's pretty much all we need to do for now. And we click publish and we publish, all right? So that's just that's just it for now. We can view the page, but it wouldn't it wouldn't be much like there's nothing there, guys. So it wouldn't be much, right? It's just blog and not much happening but what we're gonna do is we're gonna add it to our menu because whenever someone comes to our website let's say the website is right here let's say that's our logo and they load our home page we need to let them know that hey you know what this is a blog right this is a blog and the thing about it guys that I mentioned two different types of website de development here so we have bespoke website development where you can have a custom made website or you can have a cyber grow online presence all of our websites are built with conversion rate in mind right so we're built to convert and what conversion is is that whenever someone comes to your page your website you want them to do a few things either you want them to make a reservation which you don't do for a page your website so we're going to say for here we want them to read our blog right we want them to read the blog matter of fact we're going to say get recipe so we're going to have a recipe page right so we're going to have a recipe page that is going to be the major point for conversions so we've started the blog because we want to get readers we want to get popularity we want to get authority so more people buy our recipes right sounds good so our conversion right here will be for downloading recipes so we're going to add a new page it's called the recipe page or recipes and that's just what is going to be the main focus of our blog that's the reason why we started the blog 
We've not been blogging because we like to talk about cakes and ice cream. We've been blogging because we want to get more authority and we want to get our recipes out there. So people will hire us and they will pay us for our recipes. And that's that, right? So recipes, right? Sounds good. So now we have a direction for our website. We're going to go right here. We're going to click view pages. But we're not really looking at the pages, guys. We're going to appearance, menus, and we click on that. Now the two pages that we just created, the blog page and the recipes page, are going to be added to this menu. So we say recipes, blog, add to menu. Perfect. Now once you get that done, what you're going to do is you're going to organize it. Normally it's home, then about, contact is last, but you have blog before contact. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have recipes, blog, then contact. It doesn't matter guys, you can have it the way you want. And because we don't need the menu page, I'm just going to use it as an example and we're going to put it right, right below the recipes page as a sub menu. In other words, when you hover over recipes, you're going to see menu come up. And that's the only reason why we're going to keep this page guys. We're not going to really use it. And we go ahead and we save menu. Now that that's saved, let's go back and see what we're looking at right here for the home page. Okay, so we have the home page, we have the about us page, we have recipes, we have the blog, we have contact. Now this button is wrong, it's reservation. And what we want them to do is we want them to download our recipes. So what we're gonna do to fix this is we're gonna go to customize. And when we click on customize, we're able to change how our button right here looks and how it interacts. Now we're gonna get a color palette for our website right away, right? I don't know what your color palette favor um, desire is, but you can figure that out after going here. So the website I'm gonna to go to is called Coolors. And this website is awesome, guys. It is awesome, coolors.io.co actually. So we click right here, and we're gonna be able to generate a color scheme. Now before we generate a color scheme, let me go right here and fix our button. So we've clicked um, appearance, we're gonna click customize and we have the menu. So in the menu, there's a button. No, not right here, but in the header. You go header, primary menu, and there's a button right there. Now in the, oh wait, it's not loaded as yet. That's fine. I'm, I'm having a local website right here, guys. I have 16 gigs of RAM. I think it would have been faster than this, but whatever. So we have the button, and instead of saying reservation, our button should be download recipe. All right. If I could speak, um, if I could spell recipe. All right. So download recipe, and the link is going to take us to the recipes page. So you just tap the name of the page, and the page is going to pop up right here. Oh wait, it's slow. Just give it a minute, guys. And we could say open in a new tab, but we're not going to say that. And we keep the theme button style. If we did a custom button, then what it would do is it would look the way that we want it. It's not bringing it up. Okay. So to put it for the recipes page, we'll say www. This is actually called pastry blog. So I wanted to go with pastry blog tutorial, but pastry blog is what I created. And that's what we're going to work with. So pastry blog forward slash pastryblog.com forward slash recipes okay so now we are perfect for now right we're not going to change too much now we're going to head over back while this is saving and it's been published it's published guys we're just going to go ahead and test out our button so we exit right here and we wait a bit and it says download recipe we go to we click on it of course and we go to the download recipe bar. Oh wait. Oh wait. <laughs> the domain is being sold. I never remember that it's a local website, guys. So I never I put dot com. I put dot com for the link right here and not dot local. So let me fix that real quick or we're gonna have trouble. We're gonna have trouble. Oh, another way that you could fix it, guys, is let me go back. So I'm going to show you another way that we could fix this issue. We can literally go to recipes and there is menu in the sub menu, which is funny. So we're going to go back right here and we're going to download the URL for this page, right? So we're going to go to the um, header. I've just downloaded it and we're going to go back to customize. So I've copied the URL 
from the page all right and now to change the button text and URL we're just gonna change the URL right now we're just gonna go to menu actually header primary menu and in the primary menu we see the button and this is dot com it's supposed to be dot local guys because well whatever so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that and I'm going to paste the link that I just got paste your blog dot local for slash recipes and I'm just gonna remove that because we don't need it and we publish now while this is published I'm just gonna go back for now I'm just gonna test to ensure that it's working so I, I um, let's go to the contact page just you know load something different so we're going to click download recipe right so now that we've clicked download recipe let's see what happens so it takes us back to the recipe page perfect so now the first page that we're going to start working on is a contact page and the reason why I do this is I normally go contact page then about us page then the services page then the main service so if we had like three different services like web development online marketing email marketing I do those pages is pages then I do the services page then I do the home page and the reason is because some pages are you know you can build them a lot faster so this page right here you know it's perfectly fine so we're going to make a few edits to it so it's our unique website we're going to go with edit with Elementor so while this is being loaded we're going to select a color palette guys all right so we're going to go right here to coolors.co and we're going to start generator or start the generator and we're going to get actually you know what i'm going to do i am not going to use the generator and i'll tell you why on the screen there's going to be flashing colors which could cause seizures so if i press the space bar right now if you press the space bar the colors are going to change let me do it once all right so you see the colors change so instead of going with this i'm going to go right here more and i'm going to go for the popular wait let me see where is the popular i am looking for the popular palettes okay so these are trending and we're going to look at these and we're going to choose one so this is 24,000 that's pretty awesome this is 10,000 okay so we need something bright and beautiful for our website if we're using if we're going to be doing for food right so mm, how does this one look okay let's go with this one all right so i'm going to go ahead and view view the palette all right and we can click to copy now here's what i'm going to be doing guys on the page that we're on we're going to be we're going to be editing the contact page so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be changing the color palette but because we're editing this page guys and it's it's not a bad page actually it's pretty nice but it's not what we want right now so what i'm going to do is we're going to look right here and this is the element or page builder menu we can use a lot of things here to do a lot of things that we want on a page things that normally appear on a page but we're not going to be worried about this right now what we're worried about are our color palettes right so we're going to get this color palette into our page builder all right so what we're going to do is we're going to go right here the hamburger hamburger icon click on that site settings and that's going to take us somewhere else i'm going to say global colors now global colors are the colors that are available everywhere on the website so our primary color that's where you see the main color is going to be this color so i'm going to go ahead and click on it and i'm going to select the primary color from here now i could go with this as my primary color right i could go with that but what i'm going to do is i'm going to go with red and yellow as my first two colors and then i'm going to get an accent color to deviate and this is going to be my text color so for red i click on red and for the hex i go over i click to copy go right here and i paste and you see it selects the red for me and that's fine now for my secondary color i'm going to do the same and the color that i will go with is actually this yellow right here click the copy go right here and paste 
and we have that color. The text, now I've said that the text is going to be this dark color right here, go right here, click the copy, go right here, and paste. Perfect. Now we go to the accent color. Now the accent color is something that's going to have to deviate from all of these. It's going to have to bring attention. And I don't know what a good accent color is for these. I mean, green looks wonderful. So let's see if we have one right here. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know. What I think I will do is I will select an, an accent color on the fly. So I won't select the accent color just yet. I will, however, add, add two more colors. So I'm going to go ahead and add color. Click on that. And that's how you can add multiple colors. I'm going to click on this one because it wasn't added. I'm going to click the copy. Copy and paste. And we're good. We're going to add another color. And click. And click right here. And copy. And all these colors are going to be used, guys. All of them. Now, I'm thinking that the accent color could be a really nice blue. Like perhaps this bright blue right here. Know what you guys think so i'm going to select this for the accent color for now teal that looks a lot like teal guys and that's what i'm going to use for the accent color now now that we have this color all decided what i'm going to do is i'm going to keep the fonts as they are right normally you would change the font but because this is a re restaurant um, template i'm just going to keep the font as it is so we go right now right beneath the screen because my screen isn't recording everything i'll have to fix that next time and we'll click update and while we click update everything is being saved guys it says everything is saved go back to editor all right now here's what we're gonna do we're gonna make some changes on this contact page to make it look a lot more interesting now the first thing that i want to do is i want to change the color and the picture in the background here and the reason why I'm changing the picture is, is because this is more of a restaurant website and not a blog. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to input a picture of, let us say, a wonderful ice cream sundae. So to change that, we go oh, we hover over the area that we want to change the background picture. And we click right click, edit section, and this menu will come up right here. Now it's important to know that the reason why this picture is dark is because there's an overlay. And you can look at the overlay by always looking at the area because sometimes the picture is designed like that and you go to background overlay and right here you notice the opacity is 0.7 and the opacity is all dark or how much light goes through it so you can go all the way to one which allows nothing through you can't see through it and the more light through means the more you can see it or you can go to zero mean it's like like it's not there which actually doesn't look so bad guys it doesn't look so bad right so we're going to bring it back to 0.7 and we're going to change the picture. Now the reason why I chose Astra for today, besides, you know, loving Astra, is because we can go ahead and we can import pictures, right? So we we'll click on the picture, right? And we say free images from Pixabay. Free, royalty free, perfect for what we're doing here. Once we do that, we go ahead and we Google um, ice cream Sunday, And that is not the Sunday we want, guys. This is the Sunday we want. I like, I like spelling things wrong. Ooh, look at that. I like this one. I like this one. I like this one. All right. This is going to be a very hard website to build. <sighs> I'm enjoying this, guys. <laughs> I'm enjoying this. Okay. So we're going to look for a nice picture for our contact page, right? Oh, my. This is wonderful. Okay. Let me stay on track. Focus, Jade. Focus. All right. So I'm thinking we can have something a little bit entertaining right so i'm going to go ahead with this plate of um i don't know what this purple ice cream is is it grape ice cream i wouldn't think so or maybe it's froyo maybe it's grape froyo who knows we go to save and insert now what this is going to do is going to take the picture from the internet it's going to download it to our server and it's going to input it into our website all with one click so we don't have to download to our computer and then upload it and then put it there Worst if we're code, we don't have to work, write a line of code and say, ah, the picture is over here in this folder, it's called this, and no, 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 no. One click and everything is done for us. Now, the background overlay is here, and that's fine, but I'm going to take a look at what I can do with it. Not there, right here, actually. And I go all the way to zero, and that is not bad, right? That is not bad. So I'm going to go ahead and maybe work with 0 0.3. 
for my background overlay and that is 0 0.3 that looks good right guys that looks wonderful now what I'm gonna do for the text though is because the background overlay is not as dark as it was the text is going to be a little bit more harder to discern we can see it but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use two colors I'm gonna use a primary color for this one so we click on this right here we go over so when you click on it by the way guys this is a title and what I like to do is I like to have whatever is most important about the page be an h1 tag and an h1 tag tells the browser what the page is about right so I click HTML tag h1 and that's a title tag and because it's a little bit bigger than I want it to be I'm just gonna go ahead go over to style go to typography and change the size I'm gonna make it like 50 there we go 50 looks nice now I don't want to book a table because our main objective is to download a recipe but this is our contact page so I'm going to go ahead and say contact us and that's some people say contact some say contact us it's fine we don't need to get excited and I'm going to change the color of this text so I go to style I click here on this little icon here and I select one of my global colors which is this one right here and let's see how well it plays with what we have right here and it's terrible it is horrible guys like you don't even see it properly and that is fine guys that is fine because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep using this section over again so we just need to get it right once so let me see if I can use a secondary color and get a lot more results and that looks, looks a lot better right That looks a lot better so what I'm gonna do now guys I'm going to change this text to something else in fact what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put two buttons here to contact us right so I'm going to go right here click on this grid icon I'm going to import intersection right beneath here and I'm going to add two buttons now the buttons are going to be call to actions that help my users to convert before they even have to scroll on the page now whenever you load a page and there's nothing on like you haven't scrolled or anything everything here is called above the fold right so this is above the fold you don't need to scroll to see and that's why I'm going to put my conversion objectives right here the first one is actually a call because well having them call me would be good for my business so I go and call us right and the link is a number so let's say that my number is one two three four five six seven eight nine zero let's say that is my number I'm going to say call to with a with a colon so that's call to plus one my number right so one so my actual number guys is actually one eight seven six five seven six six four four five that is my actual number but I'm not working with that right now so I'm going to say one two three four five six seven eight nine zero and that's the call to now what that is going to do for us is whenever someone comes right here and they click on the button on their device it's going to initiate a call so you know you're on a website with your um, your cell phone you see a button and you click on it it's going to allow you to call the website without actually have to enter this number right here and then I'm going to put another button over here right another button over here and that is too far from that so I'm going to put the icon here I'm going to put it all the way over here right and let's see how this start for alignment that looks perfectly fine and now for this one it's going to be hmm download recipes all right and to download the recipes I'm gonna need the link from here recipes thankfully though I only need to tap the name of the page and the link will come up and you see right here it's a page so I could just as easily link to a blog post right and we don't need this text text anymore so I'm just gonna go ahead and right click and go on delete and remove that and I'm going to keep this except I'm going to remove it and put it all the way up here all right now this is white but I think I can change the color by going here wait I don't think I can change the color well let me try let me try no I can't change the color because the image itself is white all right so the image itself is white and 
and that looks like it contact us so you can call us or you can download recipes now that is the landing page right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to cheat the system just a bit right so i'm going to go right here i'm going to right click edit section and then i'm going to go to the background overlay now remember the background overlay causes it to be a little bit darker a little bit brighter right so what I'm going to do is I want the best of both worlds. I want everyone to be able to see what's there, but I also want the text to be wonderfully shown. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a gradient. So we'll click on the gradient and I'm going to change the location of the gradient to 45. And I'm going to change the location here to 45 as well. And you see that right there? It doesn't look as, as entertaining as what I want to do. But don't worry about it, guys. So the first color is going to be a full black. Right? And the second color is also going to be black, except that this time we're going to change the opacity of the black. You notice it's one color right now. This gives us the opacity meter, so we can change how transparent it is. So I'm going to pull this all the way back. Right? So now that I've pulled that back, I'm going to change the angle. And I go like this, and I go to 90. And now, if you look at my screen, you realize that over here is darker over here is a little bit lighter but this looks nasty because it's a little bit darker but not enough and it doesn't work blend well here and no so what now we're going to do is i'm going to change your opacity here right and then i'm going to change the opacity here to 45 and no no One second, guys. The number, getting the number perfect is going to be what's hard right now. So I'm actually going to go back right here to a full 100. And then for this one, I'm going to pull this all the way back. And this is the wrong side. It's getting dark, right? So we're going to go all the way up. And then this side, we're going to go all the way back all the way back and then right now we can get a little darker and now we go right here and that's it now the image isn't aligned perfectly so let's see if we can get the image to be a little bit over more to the dark side and this is what normally influences how we change how we select our photos right so this is center right and now let's see what happens for center left it doesn't change because the images fit perfectly. The images fit perfectly, guys. And if we go to contain for the size, it's not going to look as well as we want it to. So we go with um, cover. And how does this look? I don't really like how light over here is and then how dark. I'm going to change it back. I'm going to change it back. I don't like... What I've done so all I need to do is click just that and we're perfect and we are perfect 0 0.35 0 0.3 and we're good all right now we need to make the contact section really nice all right so these are the hours of operation and this is a Google Maps this is an online inquiry form or contact form and then we're done. So that's basically a contact page. You have a contact a contact form. You have some details about your business. You have social media links. Some people add a Google Maps. All right, but we don't need a Google Maps in our, our contact form. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right here. I'm going to click. And now I'm going to say starter size. Right here. Go to blocks. And what I need is I just need a simple form. And I just need somewhere to put my form. I'm just going to look for a section that would look nice with a contact form put in it. All right, so I'm just going to scroll down for a bit until I see something that I like. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. And we just keep scrolling, guys. That's just how it is. And I think I like this one. So this is a bit dark, but I'm going to go ahead with the light version. You click on that, and we import block. <clears throat> now that we've imported our block, okay, let me close that. Now that we've imported our blood, this is what we have right here, guys. Now, I don't need this image, so I'm going to right-click and delete, right? 
Now I'm going to take this form from here. This form is WP form, so I'm just going to copy the short code just for now. Copy. I'm going to go right here. I'm going to get a short code widget. So we click on here and we type short code. Get the short code. Get it right here. And we paste that. And we apply. And there we go. We have a contact form slot right into our page right here. All right. So one of the four things that we need are already there. We already have the contact form. And it's taken a bit of a while to get back up, but that's fine. Okay, so we have the contact form right here. It's not showing right now, but it'll show. Now, we don't need all of this over here. In fact, what I need right now is I need social icons. And I have social icons right here. So I'm just going to grab these right here. But I like this, this section because it says check reviews on. And it has this right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab this. No, I'm actually going to leave it. I have a design idea in mind, guys. I have a design idea. So look at what I'm going to do, guys. Look at what I'm going to do. So we don't need this section over here at all because we don't need all of this information. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a column, right? I'm going to delete this column because I don't need anything there at all. This is 50-50. So we still need a bit of text to tell everyone what to do. So we drag this icon box all the way over here. I'm going to change the text. We are waiting to talk, talk to you, right? And I need to capitalize this nicely. We are waiting to talk to you. And we can keep our Lauren Ipsum right here, dummy text. And there was that. Now, this looks a little bit bland. But it's fine. All I need to do is increase the space between. No, it's fine. It's fine. Now, we have the contact form here. So over here, what, are, what am I going to add? Look at this. So I add right here. And I click right here. And right here is going to go like this. For the 60. For the 60. All right, that's good enough for me. Now I'm going to go right here and get our maps widget. I'm going to import it here. So it should be 60 for you guys. 60. 60. Okay, so that's 60 40. And then right here now, we have all of this information. So I'm going to go ahead and Oh, yeah, this is right here. We don't need this section anymore, so we delete it. Just go right here and delete it. And then I'm going to go ahead and I could duplicate this, but I won't duplicate it. In fact, I'm just going to let the map stay right there like that. And then I'm going to add another section that is similar. It's not going. Okay, so this is what I'll do. I'll duplicate it. I'll add a add column. Add a column. Delete this column. And we still have these two sections that we need. Oh wait, it's raining guys. It is raining. Hold on a second. I hope the rain didn't interfere with what I was saying just now. Okay, so now that we have that right there. All we're going to do is we're going to add something down here. So I'm going to add the address right here. So to do that, I'm going to need an icon box. Icon box. Add that right here. And we're going to use the location, the GPS. That's what I'm going to be using. And we insert that. We don't need this text. Right, and the setup is going to be like that. Right, and then now we're going to get this address right here. Let me see what this is called. This is called map. All right, good. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this right here, and we're going to go right here, and we're going to go right here, and go map icon right there, and we insert. Actually, I want the one with the little circle in it. All right, we insert. 
and that's that for that address and now we're going to get the all this information right now so i'm going to get these icons i'm just going to hold it and drag it and i'm going to put that right here and i don't need some of these because google plus is no more no longer with us but i don't think you yes you tweet about it so we're going to get instagram so we click add new item click here and we go instagram go instagram and we import that now facebook is first instagram is second yelp is third and twitter and we will have videos so we'll have a youtube channel for our videos so we go youtube all right so that is that now the colors for this are going to be changed right so let's go over and change the colors real quickly the colors are custom the primary color is going to be our primary color right here because that is what we're using for this website and i'll leave the secondary color like that now for the icon hover we're going to have an animation so when you hover nothing happens so the other animation i'm going to go in is pulse grow and when you hover this is what happens right now the primary color when we hover is going to be um, our secondary color and our primary color in that order and how does that look sounds good well, one sounds sound good but it looks good right now we're going to do something similar here where we go ahead and style and the primary color is always our primary color the content now the text is a little bit big so for the title which is what we're working with we're going to go ahead and we're going to change the weight to 600 because well we want to be a little bit heavy and the style to the size to about 14 not big enough for about 18 okay so 18 looks perfectly fine for the for the size and with this when our page is loaded we have contact us we're waiting to talk to you blah 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 because that is lauren ipsum what is this right here there's something right here i don't know what this is let me see if it's something they added to the border it doesn't look so ah uh, boy okay gone i don't know what that was guys but it's gone all right now so this looks a little bland as it is and that's fine because we're going to keep working at it at it so now we have our locations so we have three different locations now to put in our three different locations i'm going to do this i'm going to do this 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 so we have three of that now I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this and I'm going to change how this is set up to the structure and I'm going to have the middle part be the biggest part. I'm going to add an add-in and the add-in is going to be our locations. So I drag this right here. Well, it's not being dragged so I'll just use a header right here. Our locations. All right go ahead and this is just the formatting guys there is a border around the text i suppose nope background nope oh that's just double click all right now so we're going to change these locations here oh boy they're not being copied guys so let me just go ahead like this Yep, they're not being dragged and dropped, so I'm just going to copy and paste them, copy and paste them, and now because, well, these are important, I'm just going to go ahead and copy the Google Maps, alright, I'm going to paste them in each box, I'm going to paste, I'm going to paste, and for what we could do is we could, we could copy this address, for the location of our Google Maps. Now, for our blog, you're not gonna have all of these, right? So we won't spend too much time here. I'm just gonna go ahead and I need this now. 
me see if I can drag it. Oh. So copy. Copy. Duplicate. I don't need these inside of this and I don't need another column. I delete that. I'm going to go right here. I'm going to paste that. I'm going to center it. And then now I'm going to add a border around this box. So edit column, add in 20 top, 40 at the bottom, 10 at the right, 10 at the left. Now I'm going to go to style. I'm going to go to border. I'm going to add a border and I'm going to add a radius of 15 and there we go. We are waiting to talk to you. And this is really simple because we're working with a blog, we don't want to get too excited. So now the other thing that I can do is I'm going to change the background to this color. I like this color, right? So I'm going to go ahead, edit section, go ahead. I'm going to take this color. I'm going to add it to my global colors because I'm going to use it throughout the website. So I add and create the group new global color. I go right here, I copy, wait. Edit section, go to the background. I'm going to change the color to that color that I just selected, and that is what we're going to do. All right, so now we are waiting to talk to you. All right, so now I just need to add a bit more flair right here. So I'm going to go ahead and go right here. I'm going to put some space between that and the left. All right. And let's see how this looks. A rather simple setup. I don't, I think I'll keep the locations part right here. And we don't need that. I'm going to delete that. And that is that for the contact page, guys. A rather simple contact page. Very, very simple. Once someone gets there, they know what to do. Now, what we're going to do is we're just going to leave right here. But what I need is I need this section, right? I need this section to carry through. So I go right here, exit to, well, view page actually, open link in new tab, and I'll show you why I've done that. So this is why I said I use the development process that I use, because I do the pages that are fastest to be completed first. So now I'm going to do the about us page. And because the about us page contains a lot of personal information about you and your unique story, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using a lot of dummy text. So I go to About Us. Let me see how much time. I don't know how much time is left, guys. Let me see how much time is left. So I go right here. So I've gone about an hour, guys. Now we're at the About Us page. And this is the About Us page for this website. And it looks, it looks wonderful, actually, guys. It looks wonderful. So we're going to go ahead and edit with Elementor and I'm going to go right here while that loads and this is something I learned of recently and that's Bacon Ipsum, All right? Bacon Ipsum, All right? And Bacon Ipsum is a meteor Lauren Ipsum generator. Now Lauren Ipsum is an actual dummy text that you normally use. Okay, so this says WordPress and Ipsum. So custom Ipsum. I don't eat bacon, guys. I'm vegetarian. So any Ipsum, I don't need a plugin. Come on, guys. I don't need a plugin. All right. So five paragraphs all need need and fill. Huh. Okay. So I just need two paragraphs. Give me bacon. All right. So I have two bacons right here. Two. <laughs> I have two paragraphs right here. So now let's take a look at our about us page. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to ensure right here on the contact us page that everything is constant, right? So we have something that is constant throughout the website. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the heading and the footer is going to be built a little bit later. So we won't look at that just yet. So for now, let's stick to the heading. This is the heading for the contact us page. I'm going to take it through the website. So now, while the about us page loads, I will wait for a while. Okay, so this is the About Us page, all right? So I'm going to go right here. I'm going to copy, all right? 
And going back to the About Us page, I'm going to add new section right here at the top. I'm going to paste. And once we've pasted that, I go ahead and I delete this section because, well, there's nothing here that I want. I'm going to change this to About Us because that's, remember, H1 to tell the browser what this page is about. That's About Us. Now we need a different picture for About Us. And who we are, we're writers, we're bakers, we're ice cream makers, and we love all things sweet. So I think I'll use a baker picture, a baker's picture here. So we we know how to add pictures, guys. So we click right click right here, edit section, image, free free image from Pixabay, and we go to Baker. Alright, so that is that. Now I don't know. I don't know why there's an explosion for a mushroom cloud on Baker. <laughs> that is pretty hilarious, if you ask me. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna look for a nice Baker. I don't know. It would be nice if I was doing this live. I plan to do these things live, guys. So while I'm building, I can talk to you and I can ask what you want to see put in, so we can build a website together. But for now, we're just gonna go ahead and get a nice Baker. Oh, this looks wonderful. For what we're doing so let's try this one and see what happens save and insert and every time you open the free images from pixabay guys something different is going to be shown something different is going to be shown about us now i don't like how the menu is over the muffin i don't like that so i'm going to try to find another picture guys so let me see Oh, this looks wonderful. Yeah, I'm gonna go with this. No, yeah, no. You see, there's so many wonderful pictures here that I could go with. Okay, so let's try this one. Whenever I'm doing, uh, I'm using free images from the internet. I tend not to use images with people for obvious reasons, guys. But all right, this looks nice. So we're baking. Alright, so I'm going to be doing bacon ipsum for my texts, right? So, alright, our chefs, that's alright, restaurant amenities, we don't need that, but we'll see what we're going to do with that. So we're going to need this, recommended by, so we're going to see our blog is getting popular, and these are the guys who have recommended us, alright, so I'll leave that right here, and we're going to see a few people who have downloaded our recipe. So we're gonna leave that as well. Now, here's what we're gonna do. First off, is I'm gonna make a section like this. In fact, I like this section as it is, so I'm just gonna be changing a few images. The reason why I'm changing a few images is because this is exactly what I wanted to do. So the first image that we're gonna add here is of a nice, um, I don't know, let's see, something that is wonderful, milkshake. So let's see what happens for milkshake. Mm, this looks wonderful. So we're going to use this for milkshake. And that's wonderful right here. All right. So we have milkshake. Okay, that's really good. Now we're going to have, so we're doing pastries, right? So we're going to remove this and we're going to have a wedding cake because who doesn't like having their special day with a wonderful piece of cake, all right? So we're gonna look for a nice wedding cake right here. Ooh, this looks wonderful, and that. Um, let's look for something with a little bit of flair, and there we go, we asked for flair, we got it. So I'm gonna go with this one for our wedding cake. So we go right here, and we save and input. And this is how, when you get your template, guys, you can go ahead and edit it nicely. So we have a milkshake, we have a cake, we have Okay, so I want to know cake and ice cream for pastry, guys. All right. So let's see what else could I get. So I'm going to go right here and see pastries. Pastry. Oh, I'm, I live in Jamaica, guys, like I said before. So that's why the search shows in Jamaica. Okay, danishes, macarons, cannoli. I don't know what a cannoli is. Oh, eclairs. Perfect. So let's go with eclairs. I don't know what eclairs are, but we're going to go with it. Eclairs. Oh, there is no eclairs. Macarons. Okay. 
So let's go get my cola. There was something else. Danishes. I know what Danishes. Pretzels. Oh, strudels. That should be nice. Strudels. Okay, strudels. Let's go. That, no. This is a strudel. So let's go with that. So we're going with a strudel. And might I say it looks delectable. <laughs> it's almost dinner time, my friends. So we're getting there. All right. So we have that. Now, let us input our bacon Ipsum. Um, I wonder if I can get ice cream Ipsum. I don't know. Ice cream Ipsum. I don't know. It's about to rain, guys. <laughs> I hope the rain isn't interfering with the audio. Ipsum right here, now we go right here, ice cream Ipsum, and we go right here, don't need all of it, need some of it, go right here, and right here, like that. Okay. Now, I'm going to go ahead and change that to ice cream Ipsum again. Right here. I'm going to change this to ice cream Ipsum. Perfect. So now we have the first section. Now, what I like to do, guys, I like to have a section where I have my picture and I tell you guys, well, I tell my readers who I am. So we're gonna get some of that. So we go right here, we click on this, we go blocks, we go blocks, and it's just a simple about section, guys. So we just click on about and uh, yeah, so I like this one, right? So we import a block. Alright, and we close that, about me, I don't really want to say about me, why I love sweets, I love sweets, okay, so I just need to capitalize this one, and then this right here is just going to be a cupcake ipsum from somewhere, alright, So we have a nice cupcake gypsum text right here. And then we're going to get another cupcake gypsum. So right here. All right. So we have cupcake gypsum. All right. All right. So that's cupcake gypsum. I'm going to leave this and I'm going to leave this. I'm just going to add Instagram because Instagram is really popular. Right, so we add Instagram. Now, guys, I don't like using people's photos at all. Right, so I'm gonna change her picture, but for future reference, you can use your picture here. This is where your picture would go. So I'm just gonna go ahead and change that, and I'm gonna add something else that has to do with pastry, guys. And this is just me not wanting to use someone's picture. Hold on, guys. I have an issue. Hold on just a second. Okay, guys. I'm back. I am back. So I'm just going to put something random right here. So I don't know. I just have ice cream. I really, I really don't want to use someone's folder, especially for something that's going to be available for download on the website, guys. So we're having a bit of rain. I'm hoping it's not interfere. All right. So I'm just going to use this right here now. Let's use this one. Let's an insert. All right, guys. So this is who I am. Really, at the core, I am a chocolate core. <laughs> and I'm I'm from Jamaica. I'm black, guys. So <laughs> that this is telling that I actually said that. All right. So why I love sweets? Blah 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 blah. All right. So now we have an introduction to the practice. So this is what the restaurant or the blog is all about. This is who I am. 
we don't have chefs, so I'm going to remove this. Um, uh, I'll say our writers. Our writers. Right, guys? Our writers. And I'll have this section here. Let's say we keep this as it is for our five writers. I can't remove these pictures because if I were to remove these pictures, then because you know the person, then I already lose the background as well. Right, so I think I'll keep this as it is. I'll remove the background of the section all over though. Right, and we're gonna have a recurring theme. Right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to not use a baker this time, but I'm going to use drinks. I don't know if drinks, no. Actually, I have a list of pastries right here. So I can use pretzels. Let's see what pretzels look like. I was going to use croissants, but let's see what I get for pretzels. I've never had pretzels. I was in America and I saw them. I tried it and I, I, I didn't like it, guys. It's not a taste I'm used to. So, all right. This looks nice for a background picture. Let's go with that for pretzels. Pretzels. So this is, this is who we are. We're pretzels and we're sweets. All right, guys. We're pretzels. If you're going to be anything in life, kids, be a pretzel. All right, so let's see what happens now. Okay, so we're not seeing the pretzels so much as we're seeing the, the side right here. Okay. Okay, so now this is saying we're looking for management interns. We're not actually looking for management interns. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and remove this. Well, I need this right here. So I'm going to duplicate it. And I'm going to go ahead and move this. All right. So what I want you guys to do now is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change the pictures right here because I don't like using people's pictures. All right. I'm going to change the pictures and I'm going to use a string of different photos. All right. So I'm going to go right here. No, to save time, I won't bother downloading any new pictures. I will just use these photos. And I'll contain. I'll cover is better and I'm going to center center and I'll just copy and I'll paste style and this is going to be our lead writer because this is a blog guys lead writer all right this is our lead writer um, recipe recipe scientist because food is a science um, I don't know a title for this guy Chief editor, I suppose, is a nice way. I before E except after C. Yeah, chief editor, I spelled it right. So that's chief. Okay. And all these guys are just going to be our intern writers. Intern writer. And this is going to be an intern editor. All right. So we have a team being put together for now and for the future. All right, so we have that right here. So now I'm going to change this picture. And for, you know, to get something selected real quickly and not be hungry over the wonderful pictures I'm seeing, I'm going to use something I've selected already. All right, so I don't have as many of the photos being loaded as yet. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to select one right here. I'm going to select a croissant. 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 Je peux pas français. All right, so... Croissant chocolate breakfast. I've had not guys 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 guys. I'm telling you right now Nutella with peanut butter Try it Try it guys. It is up. Let me tell you what you get two slices of bread So you have one slice and two slices. You put peanut butter on this side. You put Nutella on that side Ah, oh, that is amazing guys. I can't have enough of that thing Try it, guys. You can thank me in the comment section later. Try it. All right. So I'm just going to get two wonderful pictures down here. Uh, let's see what else they have. Maybe a crepe. Let me try a crepe. 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 Um, okay. I think I'll go with this one. No, I'll go with this one. So I'm going to go with these crepes right here. No. It's one of them. Okay. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'll uh, just duplicate. No, after just edit style. All right. 
and it's not there so I'll have to get another picture of a crab okay and I'm gonna use another crab instead I won't use the one I just used so I'm gonna use I'm gonna use that one all right so now guys what you need to do when you get this website or when you're editing it is you just change these pictures to your actual picture and your team actual picture if you don't want it you can go right here and click delete or you can hover and you can click delete and you can just have one section and you can change a background picture the reason why I've done it this way is because I don't like using um, pictures of real people it's just my thing all right now we don't need restaurant amenities because it's not a restaurant all right we don't need that because that's not what it's about but what we do need is a testimonial section all right so we're going to I'm going to leave this as it is right I'm going to leave this as it is and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a section to download our book guys because that is the whole reason why we have this website isn't it to get our book sold all right so I'm going to get a section to download our book let me just look for something nice maybe a subheading all so we're going to be downloading our book download book download book i'm just looking for a wonderful section to build okay i think i'll work with this one all right go ahead all right so just go ahead download our book recipes it's not book it's a recipe and I'm going to delete this I am going to delete this I am going to delete this and this is a divider duplicate it all right I'll delete that then now I'm going to add a short code right here because the short code is going to be the sign up form for our book all right so we'll leave that right here and I don't need this right here I don't need that but before okay I'm gonna remove it and what I'm gonna put in its place is I'm gonna put a photo I'm gonna put a photo and this photo is gonna be a photo of a recipe let's see if there's a recipe right here all right okay so let's let's go with this picture all right we're going to go with this picture the recipe all right and now we're going to change the background right here all right because this is a little bit dark this doesn't go well with our website we can go with this one or what we can do is we can go with this color that we've chosen but i rather something to grab their attention so i'm going to go with the secondary color i'm going to change this text to what the primary color should be for the text i'm going to change this right here to the light color that we've had right here and it's going to be that and this right here is going to be our icons all right so let me edit our social icons just a bit the primary color is going to be red whoa no 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 what are you doing son okay so we're going to need to have to select a color no this is the color we need to change all right and then now for the hover we're going to have the same pulse grow we hover let's see that's black we're going to change this to yellow i'm going to change this to red and let's see all right now we don't need such a big space around them so that's the padding that we're going to fix so the padding is pretty much ridiculously large so we're going to mm -hmm. let me see oh yeah i still need to keep them 15. okay now a form is going to be here to download our recipes all right so you just need to add the short code to download the recipe all right so this is our about us page all right now what we're going to be doing from here on out is going to be a little bit subjective and the reason is because it depends for everyone all right so the next page i'm going to be looking at i'm going to do the blog after this page so i'm going to do the recipes page all right guys so let's just go right here right here exit 
view page actually. That's what I should do. View page. And we're waiting. All right. So for our recipes now, I'm going to go right here. So this is about us. And the recipes page, you can see the heading. It looks a lot different, right? So we can not just go with edit with Elementor because we haven't edited yet or it would change to this finger. So we go to edit page and we're going to remove the heading and we're going to change the template of the page. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the heading. To remove the heading, you go over here and you say disable primary header, um, disable page title as well. No, page title is what we're going to remove. Disable page title. I'm going to disable featured image and we're going to content layout Elementor. Where is it? Page attributes, template Elementor, full width. Update. Now, if we look at the, up, um, the updated page, it's I messed it up. I messed it up, guys. Normally, I would click on it, but I messed up the click. So let me see if I can get the permalink. Permalink is right here. I open a new tab. All right, so now if you look at the page, it looks a little bit different, guys. It looks a little bit different. And this is the footer, but this is more like what we wanted to see. So what I'm going to do is right now, I'm going to click Edit with Elementor. And this is where all the magic is going to happen. Now, I'm not going to be putting recipes here because I, <laughs> I don't know recipes and I don't want to take from someone else's website any recipes that they might have, guys. That wouldn't be fair, fair to them or fair for them. Fair to them, right? So we're going to continue going ahead with this section here. So we go ahead and right click and we copy. Now, for this website that we're going to, we have nothing at all on it. There is nothing to edit or now. So we're going to have to build everything from scratch. Additionally, we're going to have to create the gallery page and the video gallery page. And as time goes by, we're going to work on that. All right. So let me close a few windows. Close that. And close that. Paste your examples. And I'm going to close that. All right. So we've copied the section. Go ahead and paste it. And this is our recipes page. And now I'm just going to change the heading. Remember, it tells the website what this page is about. Our recipes. All right. Now, something I did wrong. On the about us page, I never moved this. But I'm going to let it stay because it wouldn't, it wouldn't be bad if they called us or downloaded our recipes. Right. So I'm going to leave the call to actions on all the pages the same. But if you wanted to change it, you just click on the button from call to us. Call us. And you can say read blog. And then you change the, the link to blog, all right? And I think that's fine, all right? And we update it because we want to save it. Now, because this is our recipes page, all right, guys? This is our recipes page. Something is going to happen. I'll tell you what it is. So when we go to our blog, all right? And I'm going to go there. No, I'm not going to go there just yet. When we go to our blog, there are a few things that are going to be posted here. We're going to have reviews of different products. That's nice. We're going to have actual um, recipes posted on our blog, right? And these blog posts that are recipes are going to be the ones that are put here. So this is what I'm going to do. All right, guys, we're going to take the blog posts that are categorized or tagged as recipes and we're going to input them here. But in order to do that, we need to put a section here that's going to pull those from the blog. And the way that we do that is by doing what I'm about to do. First off, we need a section, right? Now, normally I would go here and I would look at a block and I'll say, ah, this looks nice or this doesn't look nice. That's not what we're going to do this time, all right? We're going to go here again, all right? We're going to use a page, all right? Now, the page that we're going to import, let me select free again because we're not going to use the premium versions. The page that we're going to build right here is a page that is going to have our blog posts. All right. It's going to have our blog posts and it's going to look really wonderful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for a template or a page right here that would work wonders with such a function. Now, it couldn't be anything for you guys, but for me, it's just a um, tip of the um 
tip of the bat, right off the bat kind of decision. All right, so I'm just looking for something wonderful, co-working space. See this right here, and I like this. All right, I like this. So I'm gonna import this template, and I'll tell you what I like about this. All right. So while it is being imported, a few things that we're gonna do now. We're just gonna create a container. We're not gonna be posting the blogs just yet, and the recipes just yet. We're just gonna create a container to take those. All right. So let's go ahead and this is imported. All right, so we don't need this section because we already have a hero section. So we go ahead and delete that. All right, and let's scroll on. This is the section I want, guys. This is the section I want. Now, we don't need this. All right, we don't need this. So I'm going to go ahead and should I delete it? Let me see. Uh, should I delete these? Yes, I'm going to delete them because I don't need them. I absolutely do not need them, guys. All right, so. Um, let us see. I might use this section, all right. I might use it. So let us see. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm not going to use um complete ipsum. I'm going to say download. Well, it's not download recipes. It's not download page. So view our recipes, all right. And this is going to be a cupcake ipsum. This is cupcake ipsum. Uh -huh. It's not going to be a very long one either. So, cupcake ipsum. Remove the call to action. All right. And then now, this section right here, we don't need this section. Right. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate it because I kind of need it. All right. So, we have the same section here and here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this right here. I'm going to remove this right here. I'm going to add column and I'm going to duplicate for a specific reason. Then I'm going to add column. All right. Then I'm going to delete this column. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead here, edit structure and 1666. All right. I'm going to leave that from here. All right. And then now I'm going to say block. So I'm just going to type blogs and the premium add-ons from Elementor has a blog um, thing, a blog module. So we're just going to get that. I'm going to put it right here. And what that is going to do for us, all right, so we can tell it where, where to get. So I haven't made any categories that, as yet, but the category we'll be using is recipes, all right? So we're going to type that there. It's not going to work because I haven't made a category as yet, and that's fine. And here's pulling our soul blog post which is pretty much a hello world blog post right so we're going to leave that as it is right and what's going to do for us is that whenever we load this page all of our blog posts that are labeled as recipes are going to pop up here now this section is a little bit small all right so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go ahead and delete that and i'm going to delete that so i have the section alone i don't need this i don't need this and i don't need this because we want to stick to what is important. Now, we have all of this right here. So let's say we have 17 recipes all loaded here. The next thing that we want to have on this page is a prompt telling them to download our recipes because that's kind of what we want. We want them to download our recipes, join our email list so we can email them. Maybe they'll buy one of our recipe books, right? So we're going to add that section right here. And we're going to say, actually, I'm going to use another page section, right? So I'm going to use another section from a page. I don't know which section, but all right, let's try this one. Let's look at the home page. All right, so I'm going to use this section right here. All right. And remember, people eat with their eyes. They're visual eaters. So you see the food first. It looks wonderful. Then you smell it. So that's, this, that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be appealing to their sense of taste. All right. So... This is taking a while to import. That's just because of my system. All right. So we're going to go ahead and remove this section. We're going to remove this section. We're going to remove this section. We're going to remove this section. I'm going to keep this section. We're going to say download our recipes. Recipes. 
And remember, guys, whenever someone is in the menu and they say download recipes, it's going to take them to this page that we're working on. All right, so we have to add the actual download link right here. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to remove this. All right, we're going to add the short code because we're going to be using a form. All right, so we add the short code right here. All right, now I need a text widget, so I should not have deleted that one. So I'm going to add a text that says, that's at the wrong place. Just click and drag, guys. So I'm going to add a text widget that says, just enter your information for us to send you our recipes for free. All right, I'm going to bold free. Bold, all right. And they download, and we're going to just leave that right here. So we don't need that. Now, visual eaters, right? So we're going to add more pictures, all right? So I'm going to add one of the tea. I don't know. Wonderful tea. Yes, this looks really classy. Wonderful. That's tea. I'm going to add one of bread because bread makes awesome sandwiches. And like I told you, bread, Nutella, and peanut butter, guys, try it. Try it. Trust me, guys. It's amazing. All right. So this is wonderfully baked bread. Actually, this is croissant. That looks wonderful. All right. So right over here, we're going to have, um, so we have examples of paste right here. So we have cannoli. All right. So we're going to have. A bit of a cannoli right here. I don't know what cannoli is. I am Jamaican and I do not know what cannoli is. Judging from the look of things, it looks wonderful. All right, so I'm going to use this one. All right, for cannoli. All right. And right here, we're going to add another picture. This picture is going to be of something that I'm familiar with, which is what do I know for ice cream? Uh, no, not ice cream. Ice cream and cake. No. What else is there for dessert? I'm just going to type dessert and see what happens. All right. Nope, not dessert. Dessert. All right. So let's see. Okay. So let's see. All right. All right. We'll go with these. I don't know what they are, but I'll go with those. And you're going to have your own pictures, guys. Because remember, this is your blog. This is about what you've been doing. All right. And what you're going to see now is you come to our recipes, view our recipes. Our recipes are listed here. Let's say there are 17 of them. After you're done, it says download our recipes. And there are pictures of what we've done right here. All right. And that is wonderful. This is what we want for our recipes page. Now, our recipes page is done. And I mentioned that we were going to have a gallery and a video gallery, but we don't have those pages yet. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create those real quickly. All right, guys. Okay. So we need a gallery page and we need the video gallery. All right. So. First thing that we're going to do is page. I just saw something about a discount, guys. I'm going to go take a look at that because, you know, discounts are added. So we need a gallery. Not gallery, but a gallery. All right. I'm going to publish that. And then we're going to have a video gallery. Now, this is more than a blog at this stage, <laughs> so it's probably going to go over two hours. I'll try to be finished in two hours and 15 minutes. Guys, it doesn't matter how long I take to do it because you can get this for free or you can, if it's not for free by the time you see it, you can pay like a small amount for it, I guess. I don't know how much it's going to be sold for. Maybe 29 bucks. I don't know. Maybe nine nine ninety nine. <laughs> we don't know, guys. Or you can just have my company, Cyber Dream Developers. That's us right here. Not only develop a website for you, but we also do uh, marketing. We are high on marketing, guys. So this one, gallery, now we're going to add one with one essential add-ons. 
Okay, so I don't wait. They want to give me 10% of the collect information. Okay. Uh, I don't have Elementor Premium version using right now, so I don't need Elementor add-ons. So now we're gonna add um, video gallery, all right? Okay, so we go ahead and we publish. Now we we already we're already on the video gallery page. So I'm just gonna go ahead and edit with Elementor. Now this page, guys, it's going to be populated by you. So there isn't much that's gonna be done by me, except that I'll create the outline for the page. All right, guys. And then I'll allow you to input the links for your videos. All right. So let's just let this load for a bit. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and use this section again because we have to remain constant. Copy, go ahead, paste. All right, so video gallery for our H1. Video gallery, all right. And now we want them to read our blog. Oh, we can go to our YouTube channel. So this is if you have a YouTube channel, guys. And there's going to be some obscure link right here. All right, so let's see. All right, so we need a little bit more space for our button. All right. OK. And now we have to change the background picture. And it's a video gallery. All right. So we're going to change it to pastry. And something will come up that's a general for pastry okay um, okay so this is what I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with this it's not the best picture but I'm just gonna go with this for now guys all right so we have pastry and as I guessed it's a little bit too populated too many things are happening in this picture. So let's go again, guys. So let's go again and say pastry. Okay. All right now. So um, I want something rather simple, but something preferably that leans to the right side of the picture. Okay, so let's see this. Okay, all right now. So we're gonna just go ahead and use another page um, template. All right, so we're gonna go to free again. All right, now we're gonna be looking for a section that is gonna have our videos. All right, I'm gonna be using this one. Um, no, nope, not at all. Okay, so let's see. Let us see. We're just looking for... Now, what you can do, guys, is you can go through all of these for yourself and look for sections that you like. All right? So I'm just going to see if I find something here. Uh -huh. Not at all. Work with this one, and this is a video gallery. Now, what we're going to be using for our video gallery is pretty much just a YouTube link added, and I'm just going to keep it simple. I will say, however, that we can use another solution. I think I'll use it for tomorrow's video. Now, tomorrow's video is going to be posted in the description and in the card above. All right, so we're going to remove that, 
And this is what we actually need, guys. We need this section right here. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this. I'm going to remove this as well. Actually, we need section. Yeah, so now we're going to say right here, right here, and we're going to add an edit all popular videos. All right, and now we're going to center. We're going to add some space because, well, that's too much. 16. All right, so these are our popular videos. I'm going to copy this now. I'm going to copy. All right, and then now we're going to go right here, paste. I'm going to say all videos. All right, so that's popular videos, and that's all. Wait. Popular videos, all right here. I'm going to say all videos. All right, now I'm going to save this. So what you're going to realize happens that when you get here, you're going to see the popular videos first. But this isn't a video. This is actually this is actually a column with a picture inside of it. All right. And then you have a text in it. All right. So what we're going to do is because we want this to load fast, what this is going to be, this is going to be the thumbnail for our video. All right. And then this is going to be the name of the video. I'm not going to use Bacon if so. Um, we're going to do crap dreams all right and the link for the video is going to be here all right so the link for the video is going to be here and we're going to go here and edit column all right and we're going to have the picture for the crep right here or the thumbnail now the thumbnail is supposed to be posted there all right so i'm just going to take a crep picture and add it all right guys this one is a lot better for what I'm doing. I don't know what kind of crap that is. <laughs> All right. And the same thing for here. Milkshake. So you put the title of your video, guys. And what happens is that the picture is going to load a lot faster than if you actually input the video inside your website. It's not recommended to host your own videos, guys. It eats up the bandwidth for your hosting. And it can be troublesome with the space. All right, so we're going to add a picture of a milkshake. All right. What do you mean you don't have any results? Wow. Cake. Milkshake. What? No pictures. Let me see if it should be. Oh, darn it. So let me just change this again, guys. Oh, this thing is messing with me. So let me just get a kick. Oh, why haven't I had any brownies as yet? Okay. Add a brownie. Brownie. Okay. That's overdoing it for brownies, but you know, I don't mind it. I do not mind it. Chocolate is good. Okay, right, so we just label this brownie. Alright. So that is one way that we're gonna be doing this, right guys? And what is important is that the overlay is green right now, so we're going to change it to orange. Actually, I'm going to change it to a darker color and hover. All right. So edit a column, the overlay. And then change okay and then get the column again background overlay and do 
that to hover. So it's going to change it to black. All right. All right. So now for all videos, we're going to be doing something a little bit um, different. So we're not going to be using a gallery. This is a gallery right here, guys. See, you right click it said edit, edit basic gallery. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to type video and see what comes up, guys. All right, premium media media grid. All right, so I'm going to input that. Now the premium media grid is used rather oddly. All right, guys. So this is that. Now here's what here's how it works. It's really complicated sometimes. Sometimes. So you can use images or videos. All right. So this is one category. So I'm going to um, say layout, even, grid, whatever, whatever, whatever. That's fine as it is. All right. Load more button. Yes. That way, if there are more videos than two of them, you have a button you can load more of them. All right. So never mind that. Now categories. We're going to add the categories. So this one is going to be cakes. And this one is going to be brownies, um, milkshakes, because Milkshake is life. I don't know why I wasn't getting a milkshake picture just now. All right, so we're gonna have cakes and milkshakes. All right, guys. Now, this is for the content. This is where you add the information. Now, you go down to images and videos. Now, for category one, image one. Now, we don't need an image actually, we need a video. Yes, so we're gonna remove this and we're gonna select something for the cover image. All right, guys. All right. And you see there's a play button right there, but we, we haven't added the URL. So we're going to add the YouTube video URL right here. And no, for the mute, actually let's mute it. No, no, don't mute, don't mute. All right, the title is going to be Crap Away or whatever, because I don't know. And you're going to have some obscure description. But I won't add any description because you're going to see it over this, which I don't like. So we're going to remove that. I'm going to remove that. Now, what is going to happen for us, guys, is that we can use a YouTube video, all right? And we can use the thumbnail from the YouTube video to be our image here. And oftentimes that has the title. Or we can just have the picture because if someone sees a picture, they have a pretty good idea of what it is. All right, so that's that for that part. Now, image two, I won't go there because I don't have as much time. We won't shuffle images on page load. Now, for display options, we'll keep it as it is. Keep it as it is. Light box, yes. Pretty much. So whenever you hit play, it's going to pop up in a light box, I suppose. That's supposed to be. That's how it works for an image. Oh, wait. There is nothing to pop up. All right. And responsive. No, we don't need that. All right, now. So that's how this works. And when you click on cakes, you're going to have images for cakes and got have images for milkshakes. Now, when I'm clicking them here, nothing is coming up because I have added nothing to these but it's here for all all right so let's go to images or videos um image one category one all right click on that this i need to change the category so let's find all right so category one it says to assign for multiple categories separate by separate by that so i'm just going to say cakes and then that quick cake and only what is cake is going to be here. But if I want it to be in milkshake as well, I click a comma and I add milkshake. And it's going to be in milkshake as well. Wait. Is it, oh, it's milkshakes. And it's going to be in milkshakes as well. So we don't need it in milkshakes. And that's how we're going to do that, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy. It's going to. Um, let me see what happens. Okay, so that's not what I want to happen. All right, now, so here's what, here's how this works, guys. I can do one more, but I don't have the time because I'm trying to get this video at a length where you can watch it. But you can go ahead and follow the same instructions here to set this up here. Matter of fact, let me do it real quickly. So, um, categories. Um, so if you want to add another item, you click Add Item, and you're going to see it pop up. And you can go ahead and you can design the layout, let's say, how many images you want in each column. I'm going to keep three, actually, three columns. And I'm going to go down to categories, milkshakes, and leave that. <clears throat> I'm 
going to change this to vehicle vehicles all right now that's the categories now i'm going to add another image or video you can see it come right here all right i'm just going to do this real quickly guys because well i do not have the time to so you know what to do guys you scroll down you add the title to the youtube video url right here and you're good you'll be good and now i'm going to nope no 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 add it right here um close that close that and we're just gonna go ahead and select something really nice all right and that's it for a gallery page or video gallery now the size of the image is important but i imagine if you're using a youtube thumbnail like i mentioned would be a good idea then that they're all they would all be the same size all right so you can resize it if you want as well now what you're going to realize happen is that you can have a hundred videos and only three of them loads right and that's because we've set it to only load three of them all right so we're going to go ahead and look at the layout and three columns it's going to load six images so six videos will be loaded and then you click load more to get the rest of them and images to show after you click load more we're going to show 12 all right so that's going to load four more rows all right so that's what we're going to be doing for this page now i'm going to use by this section in the galleries part all right so i'm just going to go here view page open link in new tab actually i'm going to have to go to the dashboard to get that all right so <clears throat> let me go right here dashboard dashboard i'm going to add add those two pages to the menus while i'm here guys so i go to menus i'm going to add gallery and video gallery add to menu and that's that save that so we've done the video gallery already all right so now i go back here visit site And now we have gallery and video gallery. The video gallery is already finished, so we're going to go to gallery. We're going to edit page because we haven't used Elementor with it as yet. Edit page. All right. Now we're going to default template Elementor full width, disable title, edit with Elementor. And that's just going to update it for us and everything all in one. Okay, so now the page is loaded, the gallery page, we're going to go right here, we're going to copy this, copy, paste, paste it, and go right here, and we don't need video, just need gallery, YouTube channel, download recipes, alright, and we're going to use this section from here, alright, so I'm going to go copy, alright, I'm going to paste, all right, and then now I'm gonna edit because well, we need some space, man. Give me some space. 
I don't need 80. Let's try 60. Let's try 40 at the bottom. Go right here. Uh, copy. And on page. On page. And paste. And that's that. Now, these aren't going to be videos. All right. These are all going to be. These are all going to be images and they work the same way. That's why I'm using this bad because I have everything set up. So we're going to just turn off video right here. All right. And that's that for that one. I'm going to turn off video. Wait, I didn't turn it on to begin with, right? I think that's what's happening here because yes, it's not a video and i don't think the other one is a video either it is a video is it it's a video so i'm going to turn off that as a video i know this is an image gallery all right so we're good that is awesome now let's see uh -huh. all images is what we should be saying here all images and this is a little bit more space between those two so we're going to bring this up just a bit and all right okay okay mm -hmm. all images and that's what people tend to want to see when i get here they want to see images now we have categories and i haven't put the rest in categories as yet but you know how to do that from the previous part of the video all right so we're done with the images page very quickly all right so now we are going to view page so we finished the gallery page, we finished the gallery, video gallery, we finished the contact, we finished the recipes, we finished about us. We only need to look at the blog page. Now the blog page is going to be a little bit tricky because this isn't the best theme for blogs. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and look at the home page. Now the home page is going to take the most time to get to get done. All right. So let me see. Okay, so we're going to need a bit of work on the home page. All right, so let's go to page to blog dashboard. We're going to create the blog now. So remember, I told that the, the page to page is going to take the blog posts that have a certain category, and those categories are recipes. All right, so we're going to add a recipe right here. That's a category called recipes. And the slug is just this with common letters and no space, add category. Now we're going to say, how to and this is how to I'm just gonna add two more categories guys because this is your website I want it to be able to be a little bit flexible baking or baking all right baking add my category and this is gonna be milkshakes and that's because I like milkshakes which is not so easy to get in Jamaica. We don't have McDonald's. I think you can get it at Starbucks though. All right. So, all right. So we have the categories set up for our blog posts. All right. So we're gonna add a new post. We have bacon, bacon ipsum loaded. So we're gonna copy everything from bacon ipsum. Nope. This is cupcake ipsum, which they actually add. They add cupcake, cupcake ipsum. All right. And we're gonna have a video on blogging, guys. So this first one is going to be i don't know post one just for fun guys just for fun and we're going to post there is paste everything right here it's important that we have a few images in our posts so we're going to add an image and media library pixabay all right you know what let's use one that's here already all right so that's an image that we have and that's pretty nice we're going to add two images right here gallery um, media library so we're gonna add this and we're gonna have this all right that sounds nice it's our gallery and that's that all right so we're gonna publish this oh wait we haven't we haven't done a few things as yet so cancel now we're gonna need to tell them what it is um, document all right category is a recipe all right recipe and that's all i'm going to be doing for now just the category is recipe all right publish publish all right now let's generate another bacon ipsum all right start with that 
and we're gonna have eight paragraphs all right and this is gonna be okay so now add one more nope we have to go back here and we're gonna add another post so add new and this is gonna be post two all right guys post two so give it a second all right so we're at bacon ipsum and we cupcake ipsum it's gonna copy all of this all right guys we've generated something new we're gonna be post two and this is both um how to and a recipe we're gonna go ahead and paste this all right we're gonna start this one um trying to get that okay so now media library pixabay um history all right okay so we have pastry that's nice all right that's nice that's nice and it's good to have images in your posts as well guys it keeps things engaging so you notice i'm not going too far without another image and that's simply me all right so we're gonna add brownie because i haven't been using enough brownies right here shame on me all right so we have brownie hmm, that's a nice slice of strawberry um coated brownie strawberry icing it looks like actually and i'm gonna have a gallery right here again of a few things that we've added before all right so gallery insert gallery and we're gonna publish all right so we've published now i'm not going to do a third post all right so i'm going to go here we have post one and post two I'm feeling like I should do a third post, but I'm not going to do a third post. All right. So we're going to go to view the website. All right, guys. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to go to the recipe. Is it the recipe? It's the recipe page. All right. So it's the recipes. All right. And we're going to edit. We're going to edit. Okay, so all the posts are here, and that's because we never selected a category to show. All right, so we're gonna have um, we're gonna have to tell it which ones to show and which ones not to show. Now there is one that is not uh, a recipe, so we're gonna work along with that. All right, so here goes. Just waiting for this to load, guys. Just waiting. Okay, so right here we have this widget, all right, edit, edit premium blog, and that's just a widget, and the category, query, category is just recipes, all right, and only two posts that we just created are going to show, and that's it, just like that, our recipes page is perfect, all right, guys, now, what do we have next, we have the home page to get done, so let's get that done in the next seven minutes, all right, And remember, guys, if you host with Aurora Cloud, so this is Light Phoenix. If you host with Light Phoenix or Aurora Cloud, lightphoenix.com, auroracloudws.com, then we will set this up for you for free, guys. Not everything like design the page because that's a whole lot of work. If you want to get that done, you can get this um, on our CyberGrow program. All right, CyberGrow is like our monthly website development program where you pay for a website monthly instead of having it with an upfront cost of like a few thousand dollars, which is where all websites start. Our website starts at $3,500, guys. That's the lowest you will get a website from us for. But with CyberGrow, you can pay $3.99 per month. You get a very awesome built website with free hosting, free website security, free maintenance, free website management, um, free domain name. You can get a logo developed as well. It's designed as well. It's pretty amazing. So we have our um, our recipes page finished. We're gonna go home and we're gonna finish up our home page. All right. 
Now, once we finish up our home page, we're basically finished because a lot of things that I would do from here on out, like adding security and SEO and image optimization, that has a lot to do with the user when the website is finished. So I can't add in those right now. All right, guys. So this is the last thing that we're going to be doing. So just waiting for a bit. And we're loading. Okay, so this is our home page. And right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the background picture. And the home page for us, because this is mainly a blog, guys. It's just going to tell the users a little bit about us. It's not going to be anything too exciting. All right, so I'm just going to use about this picture. And remember, for this one, you can change all of the, you can change everything to your own liking, guys. Center, center, and that is awesome. And I don't know what your blog is called, but I'm going to say Fresco blog, actually. This is supposed to be pastry blog tutorial. Oh. Is true. Um, the next special is desserts reimagined. Imagined, all right. And I'm just gonna leave that there as it is. All right, and we're gonna leave the fork and the knife because you do eat pastry with a fork and a knife. All right, I'm gonna leave that there as well, and. We're going to change the overlay to something a little bit darker just for now guys just for now all right yes so okay okay all right so now i'm going to go with the secondary color pastry blob all right and that looks nice with that right here all right and i'm just going to change that image All right, to something a little bit more fitting. Let me see if I can get milkshake now, guys, because a glass of milkshake would fit perfect right there. All right, so we do have a glass of chocolate milkshake. All right, save and insert. And beside a milkshake, what looks better than um, bagel? So let's get bagel. All right, so let's get bagel. And this bagel looks wonderful right here. Sure, let's go with this one. Save and insert. I didn't look at the dimensions of the image I should be using. All right, so that's the problem. So we need something a little bit long. All right, so let's go with the label again. But this time, let's choose something that is more fitting in terms of image dimension. And voila, here we go. All right. Now we have bagel. We have that. So we're not going to use that. We're just going to use what we do all right what we do all right so now we have cakes just a second guys i zoomed in just a bit all right so cakes Okay, and dessert. Oh, darn it. Okay, there we go. Dessert. All right, and I'm just going to add another break for you guys. We're wondering this is HTML. Is my break wrong? No, okay, so that's HTML uh, pastries. Okay, it's gonna pluralize that. All right, so that's what we do. Okay, now, so that looks wonderful as it is. Now we're gonna just go ahead and get cupcake gypsum to add a bit of information here. All right, guys, so cupcake gypsum. 
and so that's concave gypsum and concave gypsum again all right and we're gonna remove a lot of it okay so okay all right so that's that that's that that's that and that goes to the about us page all right so now right off the bat i want to add another gallery all right so I'm gonna go ahead and say all videos. Okay. And this is why I do my homepage last, guys, because I tend to use um, sections from the rest of my website for my own page to help my viewers to understand just what they're gonna be seeing. Now I'm gonna change the background of this section. All right, guys. Just a second, guys. Just a second. All right. So 40, 20. I'm going to edit this right here. We don't need 100 because that's a little bit much. All right. So now I'm going to edit here. Style. Background. And I'm going to use this color. I'm going to use style background I'm going to use this color all right now we won't have our menu but we will have our recipes right so I'm going to say our recipes and we're going to use another bacon why do I keep saying bacon if someone I don't even eat bacon ah tell him okay so we're going to go right here all right another cupcake ipsum that's going here and we're gonna have a full cupcake gypsum for a section beneath all right so that's cupcake gypsum now we're gonna use we're gonna edit these images all right to something a bit more pastry blog friendly all right so let's get the dimensions of what we're gonna be using right 1280 by 853 all right, so let's edit that, edit that. 12 page by 853, that's good. And edit this, 12 page by 853 is what we're looking for. So let's see what's this, 718. All right, close enough. All right, and then now, right here, we will get something a little bit more exciting. 1218 by 850, all right. And we can add some bacon Ugh. macaroon. So we're going to change this right here to just cupcake gypsum. All right, so we get another cupcake gypsum text. Can be given by stream. All right, so we get another cup cupcake gypsum. Gypsum and cupcake gypsum. All right, I'll get another cupcake gypsum text. Oat cake, caramel oat cake. I don't know if that's a thing. It doesn't sound like a thing, but you know, let's see what happens. Cupcake gypsum, and we're good. All right, now get all our recipes, and this is going to take us to our recipes page. So we say recipes, all right? All right. Now we're going to need this section. So we're going to copy it. And we're going to paste it right here. And so we're going to say complete gallery. I will use the same buttons for the for that reason. Because we want to keep consistency. Alright, so we only need like 45 right here. And this this button is gonna look out a bit interfering. Alright, this is gonna look a little bit not like what we want to have. Let me see. Okay, it doesn't look as bad as I think. I don't like it though. It looks it looks ghetto, it doesn't look as wonderful as I'd like. Alright. So we can fix that another time. Now, <clears throat> for this section, 
I'm not going to be I'm just going to go ahead and update. All right. So we've added we've added the header. We don't have a call to action right here. So I'm going to get my call to action. Call to action is this. Copy and paste. All right. And 50-50. So All right, YouTube channel, do more recipes, perfect. Now, I like the orange that matches here. All right, that's good. All right, now, so we have welcome, all videos. All right, so now I'm gonna add a gallery. All right, so the gallery, actually, no, after the recipes, we'll add the gallery. So we'll add the gallery right here. All right, so I'm gonna use some section from a previously made website. Oh, this looks like it will have something wonderful. All right, so. Mm -hmm. No. Okay, sure. Let's use this section. I know what I'll do right here. All right, guys. And we're basically finished, guys. We're basically finished. Because what we're gonna be doing now is we're just gonna be setting up a section to access the different parts of our website because remember this isn't a business so we don't want them to spend too much time on our home page we just want to get them to the different parts of the website all right guys so bear with me for a bit we are waiting bum, 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 bum. okay so this is important Now, I don't need, I'll leave that. Go ahead with that. Let's see if we have a recipe section. Yep, we already have a recipe section, so we don't need this one. All right, so I'll delete that. And delete this one, sadly. And delete this one, sadly. And let's duplicate this and see what happens. Okay, so let's see. All right, so they love our recipes. They love our recipes. All right, because we're trying to get to our recipes and a recipe recipe book. So guys, so that's kind of what we have right here. It's perfect. And so they have lorem ipsum. I won't change this to bacon, to not bacon, but oh, this looks wonderful. All right, so this is wonderful, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and edit this column, and oh wait, I think I know what happens. This is a section. All right, so I'm going to edit this section. All right, and we're going to go with a wonderful pastry again. Actually, I'll go with ice cream. Something wonderful for ice cream must be here. All right, guys. Okay. Okay. So I'm looking for something that would fit the description of what they had right there, guys. Something with the image mainly to the left side, and it's rather high pixel. Wonderfully taken picture, really beautiful. All right, so yes, maybe this will work. Ah, uh, this one. Let's try this one. Let's try this one. <coughs> okay. Okay, guys, we are waiting and we are waiting. Okay, so that's kind of good. Now, our blog. Okay, so now we can take them to our video gallery. And we'll add a link to the video gallery right here. 
right? We look into it into our actual gallery. And we will have the link to our gallery right here. All right, guys. We can take them to download recipes again, just to encourage them. So we have the link right here. Download recipes. All right. So recipes is what we need. And let's see what else we want to read our blog. So read our blog. Read our blog. All right. So right now we have blog. Hi guys, and that's that. And right here. Um we're gonna have a wonderful section right here guys. And it's just going to have a beautiful picture. Alright, so in this beautiful picture, this section is going to be stretched full width. Alright guys, um this picture should be something amazing. So we go back here and we search for dessert. Alright, and we want something wonderful, something wonderful for dessert right here, okay, okay, and let us see, mm -hmm. there should be it, and this isn't what I wanted just yet, I want this to, I want this section to be full width, and let me see the column, Okay, so maybe it's the image. Um, so um, this isn't what I want, guys. What I want is I want this to stretch for the entire section. So I'm thinking, oh uh, boy, let me see. Um, Spacer is 500. Then now, can edit here and center, center, and cover. And the spacer isn't big enough, so 800. Okay. So now we need to select a beautiful picture, something else. All right. All right. Not duplicate. Although, although I think I may have stumbled on a better solution. All right, all right. So let's go with dessert again. All right, and this looks wonderful. That looks wonderful. Mm, let's see now. Let me find something wonderful. Go with that. It doesn't look rather high quality as yet. It does. And let's see how this works. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and remove this section. And by clicking on these guys, we'll add links. They can go to those recipes. Alright, guys. So our blog, all right? Mm -hmm. All right. So now let's put something else right here. Add a column, and we're gonna go with something different. The Sunday. I haven't used any Sundays up in a sort recently, so let's get a Sunday. Um, something I didn't do is I didn't check. I didn't check the size, the dimension of the previous image I used, guys. So that might be a problem. But nevertheless, we'll find something. Let's try something in this ilk. 
and this kind of dimension and see how it works and it looks like it works wonderful okay all right so this isn't perfect but i like what it's i like what is happening here and that's white all right so now i don't need this section anymore i'm going to delete that and we're done So now, let us see. Paste to blog. Welcome. This is who we are. This is what we do. We can add links to these guys, but that's HTML for another day. Or when we set it up for you, you all videos. And you'll have a lot more videos posted here, guys. Our recipes. Recipes. Images. They love our recipes. Uh, our blog. All right. This is what we do. And our footer. Now, this is amazing. When you get the template, the footer will be will not be built because you'll be downloading the different pages and the pages won't come with a footer template. Alright, so I could build a, a footer though. And I, yes, I'll build a footer as well. So that's it for today, today guys. You can um, join our Facebook group to get help with all this stuff. It will be linked in the description below. And I thank you for joining us today. It took a while, but we got there. There will be a new video posted tomorrow, five times per week. So you can subscribe for more. If you want to see a specific type of website built, then you can comment it in description in the comment section below, or you can comment on our Twitter or Instagram or Facebook, or just get it to, to us and we will work on it. So thank you guys for joining us and I will see you soon.